right, man. Look, if you like me, you just recently got an Xbox Series X, and I do like the console. I like it for a lot of different reasons. I'm not ready to put out my own personal full in-depth review on it um, because there's still some things I need to test. I've actually just placed it into where I'm gonna like just let it reside for the remainder of the time until I decide I'm gonna move it again. Um, but I can tell you that I just took it off my 2021 LG C1 OLED, right? Um, a TV that does have HDMI 2.1. I did move it to another TV. I moved it to an older OLED. I moved it to my 2019 LG C9 OLED. It does have HDMI 2.1. It was actually the first TV to do so. Um, but the reasoning behind the move was my particular setup. And so from the thumbnail you might see, I'm telling you if you plan on getting yourself an Xbox Series X or a PlayStation 5, you might not want to get one of these devices. Now, today's video is not going to have any intro. It's just going to be me just ranting and rambling, talking about what we got going on here. So um, if you check this video right here, you will see that I put my PlayStation 5 into my living room setup. Well, in order for me to do that and to enjoy it the way that I enjoy playing on my console, which is recording and streaming fighting games. I like to play Street Fighter. Even when I'm not trying to put on a show for YouTube, I like to play, I like to record my matches, and then I like to be able to go back over the matches. It's just something that I have done historically, like forever. I've done this forever, right? And so the big confusion for console gamers is how can you get the most out of your console? There's a lot of branding on the box of the consoles, talking about 4K 120, 8K, all of these different things, Dolby Vision Gaming. There's a lot of advertisement going on and it's really confusing. It's more confusing than PC gaming, to be perfectly honest with you. So when you get one of these consoles that have HDMI 2.1, you're like, okay, bet. Only to realize that you're only gonna be able to really take advantage of the game running in that resolution if it's developed there. So as I said in my video, right here, showing me hooking my new Xbox to my six-year-old Samsung, every game that you play on the console is not gonna run at 4K 120. So what you have to do is really look at your category of titles. Now, the way that I'm gonna be using my Xbox is to play a lot of classic games. I like the fact that it can play Xbox 360 games and original Xbox games. And so that's gonna fit really well for me because I got a lot of discs of those older titles. And so I'm gonna enjoy that. I'm, I'm perfectly gonna enjoy that. And then the fact that they have enhanced a lot of the games to be 60 frames per second with 4K upscaling is perfect. So it makes this particular device works well for me. This is the Evermedia Live Gamer 4K. This is pretty much the best capture card that you can get on the market, period. Now, when I say best, I'm sensitive to things like input lag. So it's got the lowest input lag. It's got 4K at 60 with HDR pass through. It's got QHD at 144 hertz. I'm sorry, it could be 120, don't quote me. Um, that passed through and it has 1080p at 240. So a lot of really good options here. Um, and the, the interesting thing is that you're still able to get like QHD at the refresh rate higher than 60 hertz using something like this. So I decided to put my consoles into an area that's gonna be on an older OLED that does, while have C, having C, uh, HDMI 2.1, I'm still gonna be limited to 2.0. And the reason that I said that you may not wanna get one of these is because there are no capture cards on the market that are 2.1 right now. So if you've got caught up in the hype, buying your console and then bought a TV thinking, hey, if I get this console, I gotta get this TV, then I'm sorry. If you decide that you wanna actually capture your content, make it look really custom, uh, if you don't want to be bogged down with using the standardized interface that the Twitch um, gaming has on the PlayStation or the Xbox, and you want to have like your own custom overlays like I do, you want to record your content like I do, then you've got to make an executive call. Luckily for me, I don't need those consoles to play games higher than 60 frames per second. In fact, any game that I will play over 60 frames per second, I'm going to play on PC, which is exactly why I have an RTX 3080 build on my 77 inch C1 OLED. That's why I put the consoles where my computer desk is, where I edit my videos, render my videos, manage my content, because I'm okay with it being dumbed down to an HDMI 2.1 because it does 4K 60 
with HDR. So uh, just really today's video is just some talking points, some things for you to consider. I'm probably gonna have my um, full review of my Xbox Series X up within a week. Um, I'm enjoying the console so far. I'm not really looking to compare it to the PS5 because they really sit in different spaces, in my opinion. But if you guys got any questions, leave them in the comments section. Hit like, subscribe, all of that jazz, and I'll catch you next time. Max Love.